Good afternoon, Sun Merchants. This is Dr. Massara, and I'm contacting you with this video message for the weekly update for the week ending Friday, April 17th. You may have heard that yesterday afternoon, Governor Cuomo announced an extension to the New York pause law. That means that our schools will be out through May 15th. That's Friday, May 15th, with an expected return, hopefully, of Monday, the 18th of May. What that means for us is that we need to continue doing what we're doing. Um, we're going to be continuing in earnest our distance learning plan and all of the other things we've got going. That includes our meal distribution. We have the, uh, from 10 to, two, uh, 10 to 12 each day, excuse me, we have meal pickup at our high school uh, where you can just drive through and anyone who needs a meal in our community can come through and pick up a meal at our high school location. We also have on our website, if you go to our meals distribution, uh, you can see a map of where we have four bus runs driving through the community delivering meals as well. Um, and you can meet a bus and, and get a uh, delivered meal to your home if you can't get to our school. The other thing we have, uh, we still have some Chromebooks that could go out. If you're having any problems with your Chromebook, we can swap those out and, and change, the, change it out so you have a working Chromebook. Or if you are in need of a Chromebook, you can come to the school, pick one up, um, and hope that you can uh, do that. Uh, if you can't do that, we certainly can deliver one to your home if necessary. We want to make sure that everybody is fully connected to our school. Some of the talk that's been out there is about um, exams and final exams in particular. You may be aware that New York State canceled all Regents exams. That's a strong statement from our Board of Regents to say that this is not business as usual and there is a lack of validity to those Regents exams that, that have been created. We feel the same at Center Merchants and we feel that traditional final exams maybe pose a real problem for kids. So we're, we took this entire week from Monday all the way to today to talk with our teachers, talk with our administrators about what that might look like and how we might need to think very differently about grading and assessment. Now saying that there's not going to be a traditional final doesn't necessarily mean that we're not assessing. Certainly we are assessing and we are trying to use our formative assessments to find out where kids are and adjust our, our teaching and learning accordingly. That being said, um, this also would assume that we are out for the remainder of the year. We are making assumptions that we potentially could be out through the end, end of the school year. We are not certain that that's the case, but we are following things and things are changing on a day-to-day -day basis. So keep in mind, what we'd like to see is we'd like to see kids fully engaged and participating, and, and we can use that as a gauge for how kids are doing in this fourth quarter. Um, we are going to be very, very creative about this. Um, anything from kids who are completely disengaged and not participating all the way up to the kids who are most engaged and participating. And we can get, get a sense for how they're achieving, utilizing authentic measures and holistic assessments. Um, please understand that we want to make sure that we are doing everything we can to support kids. And we believe that a shift like this is, is a real important shift. Uh, more information to come on that, um, and our teachers and our administrators will certainly be pushing more information out at the building levels about just what that will look like. Um, upcoming, we've got certain events that, that I'd like to focus your attention to. If you have a seventh grader or you are a seventh grader, um, Mr. Roy is distributing technology kits for pickup on um, the 21st, uh, uh, next Tuesday, between 10 and 2 o'clock. Um, that should be very interesting as uh, students will be able to pick up these kits and be able to participate in their technology class uh, accordingly. Um, we also have our K registration. K kindergarten registration was this week um, and we had an open window. All information for kindergarten registration is online. Um, you can just click on, put your demographic information on, take the packet and submit the packet to us. It is very, very important that we have an accurate count of kindergartners for next year. So please spread the word about kindergarten registration. We will be doing a mailing to everyone in the community to try to ensure that we get an accurate count. The last thing I'd like to do is talk specifically to the class of 2020. I know that this is not the senior year that you anticipated. I have a senior at home and, and she's certainly going through a lot of emotions. So I just want to let you know that we're thinking about you and, and every decision we make class of 2020, when we have to cancel an event or move towards something different, um, we are thinking about you guys and we are thinking about how we can make it up to you. 
Um, and we really want to keep that in the forefront of our thinking because we want you connected to our school. We want you to, to savor your senior year, as strange as it might, ha might be at this point. Um, but we know that all of these milestones are important. Um, and, and it's difficult when you're missing those milestones and it's your last chance here at San Marches. Uh, but we're thinking about you. Uh, please know that we care about you. We can't wait to get kids back into our schools. Um, but at this time, we're doing the best we can with what we have. Um, and we hope that you're all well. We hope that you're all healthy. Uh, we hope that you're faring well through this interesting time of ours. Um, we do have some mental health supports. Over 200 students have taken advantage of reaching out for one-to-one -one counseling with regard to talking about anything that, that's troubling them. So please know that on our guidance website, we do have those things available for you. Reach out, use them, and remember, Senator Murchis, please stay positive. We're, we're looking for the, those hashtags on our social media, hashtag CM Positivity, hashtag CM Connections, and hashtag Let's See CM. I really want to see CM as much as possible. Thanks so much and have a great weekend.